Hello. So I've done this presentation last night. Went really well, went really well. It was all about the mind body connection. Great feedback. And uh, so then afterwards, I went with the people who kind of run the centre and kind of they're all giving feedback and, and you know, it's, it's all healthy, it's all good. And, uh, and one of the feedback was, you know, you know what might have topped it off me would be kind of sharing your story and, and you know, give you more of your own examples of your past experience to some of the, you know, the theory you, you're showing. And I kind of thought about it and I, and I thought, you know what, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, you know, I've been on workshops and courses before and when, when someone has, you know, given their story, it kind of, there's more clout behind it, you know, there's like a, the cherry on top, you know, people can relate to it. And um, so that's kind of leads me on, onto this video really. And, and I think the reason why I tend to not so much is because it doesn't feel comfortable for me, it kind of feels, yeah, just not really comfortable, I think I've always kind of intellectualised, oh you know what, there's, there's people out there in worse situations that I've been in the past and, and things like that and it's just, it's never really been that comfortable for me to do. So I thought I'd share a little bit, you know, today and then, and then share with something which helped me. So, for me, I lived in the Midlands and I would say up until the age of 10, I reckon I moved schools and homes around six times. And so I never felt settled, and it was all around the Midlands. And, and the reason being, in, in, uh, in the 80s especially, the, there was kind of a recession in, in Britain, and, and a lot of the, the steelworks, the mines and, and things like that, they all kind of closed down. And that had a knock-on effect for lots of families. So my dad lost his job, and, and well, there you go. You know, then, then it became lots of financial hardship, and, and we had to move around to stay with different kind of families and, and friends and family and stuff like that. Anyway, so that went on. Then from 10 to 20, so all, all through my teens, um, because of that situation, we ended up on a council estate. And it was rough. It was rough. You know, the school, it was shit. You know, it was... At the time, at the time I think, so we're in the 90s now, at the, at the time, I think it was rated one of the worst in England, you know, it was one of the first schools to have metal detectors, you know, for knives and things like that, so it wasn't nice and that kind of left me in a kind of constant fight or flight response, you know, and, and that does a lot to your health to be in that state for a long time. Um, you know, the parents split up as well. Uh, I think a lot of the finances involved so that put a huge strain on, on their relationship and and I never felt the emotions I was feeling, you know, it, 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 I was never never knew what to, no one asked me how I felt. I, I kind of I became detached from myself, you know, and then going from the through the teens that kind of led to addictions kind of mask this emotional pain um, and, and I kind of just ended up doing to kind of you, you fit in and for survival really you end up doing the same as everybody else and up to mischief and, and things and bits and pieces and you know it, it kind of went on from there and so then when I hit my early 20s well this physical pain started to manifest itself and and that was you know, my, the beginning of my chronic pain episode. So, what helped me? Lots of things, lots of things helped me. But one important thing which helped me was being on my own. You know, when all distractions, all the people were gone and you're just there on your own. If you're not happy, you'll soon know that. 
<laughs> you know, because you'll be constantly desperately searching for something, you know, TV, people, friends, nowadays it'll be internet and phone and stuff like that. Um, but see, you know, see what you can do, you know, sit in half hour on your own and see what comes up because you'll soon know if you're not happy. For me, it kind of made me realise, hang on, shit, I'm not, I'm, my soul's not happy, it's, it's crying out for something, but there's such a disconnection between, like, this gentle self, who I am, and this hardened shell, which I became. You know, the, the bit in the middle was just no man's land, you know, and that was so scary to be in, because it was so unfamiliar. So, that would be my tip really, you know, just spend a half hour on your own, switch your phone, your phone off, internet off, you know, it'll still be there, you know, it has got an off button, you'll be alright, you know, and, and just see how long you can sit on your own, see what comes up, um, because with no distractions, you, you become exposed to yourself, and that's who you are, you know, the more you can get to know that your soul, your true purpose, the easier the rest of your life's gonna be. You know, at first it's uncomfortable, but you know, it's, it's really the, the start. It was the start of my personal development anyway. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps. All right, thank you.